Hi everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial video on how to create a user section using Advanced Steel. In this tutorial I've started a brand new drawing and I've simply saved it to my local machine. On the screen you'll see that I've got some predetermined polyline shapes already within my model. To start the creation process I simply go to Extended Modeling and here we have a user section panel. And at the top right we have a drop down where we can define the layering structure within the user section. The first one I'm going to look at is where we create a frame. So this will automatically create a layer that creates a space where we can add all the content for the user section. So I select it and I'm going to select my outer boundary. I'm going to choose the properties and I'm going to do this manually through the layer so I select the drop down I'm going to scroll down and you can see that when you select that button to create the layer it will automatically add these layers to your drawing so you can see that I choose the height underscore frame so that has determined an area for my user section the next thing I'm going to do is create the outer profile for my user section in this case this is going to be this outer rectangle and again I choose the layer, scroll down and I'm going to choose that this is the outer section. And then I'm going to choose the inner section and this is typically where we use to cut holes within the section. You notice that I've drawn three polyline shapes. So I'm going to select the three of them. Again select my layer and I'm going to choose these as the inner section. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to determine the section name and the section class. So I'm simply going to go select the drop down. You can see at the bottom here I've got section class and the section name. So if I choose the class, I then choose the text button, add a piece of text. So I usually keep this with inside the red frame. So I'm going to put it here and choose a height of 25 for my text. The rotation is zero and I'm going to add in my section class. For this example I'm just going to use Excitec and that adds, it's just a simple piece of text. I'm going to move it down to there. To speed this up I'm going to copy this text to here, double click it and give this a new name. So instead of that I'm going to call it logo. Because these are both called the section class, I'm going to select the second piece of text. You see there is the type name. I'm going to change that to the section name. So what we have is our red outer frame. The green is the outer frame of our beam and the yellow lines are the holes within inside. What you can do is that you can create exact inner sections and exact outer sections and what that means is that on the display representation within advanced steel is that there is an exact contour profile so I'm going to create a copy of my green frame I'm just going to copy it outside here and I'm going to use my fillet tool and I'm going to select a radius of 25 and I'm actually going to fillet the edges just to show you the difference in the exact outer profile and the outer profile so my exact outer profile you will see is going to be filleted. What I then need to do is select my shape and instead of having a hype outer section I'm going to change it to exact outer section. You'll see the way it changes the colour and I'm going to move this back into position from its midpoint to there. So what you end up with is when you look at it you've got the green outer frame and then you've got the exact outer frame. You can do the same for the inside so you could have an exact inner profile. In this instance I'm going to keep my inner profile lines as so. What we now need to do is add the coordinate system in. So when we use the beam within the advanced steel model we can actually look at when we select the drop down we can select the reference sides that the beam will use. So I'm going to select the top left. I'm going to use a snap point and I'm going to snap to there. You'll see that adds a little configuration that tells me that's the upper left corner of my beam repeat this process so the upper middle and again I go to midpoint 
And basically I put in the nine points. Around my beam. And the final one on the right, middle right. So let's go with the midpoint. And then what I can do is you can add the center of reference. So I'm just going to choose, I'm just going to sort of quickly pick that point there. Again, it's not perfect, but in this instance, on the example, it will be fine. And then the last thing we need to add is the coordinate system. So make sure that the snap line is on the outer contour. So I'm going to pick the midpoint here and there I have my coordinate system. So what we have is we have our outer frame, which is where everything sits. Then we've got our outer profiles exact and normal. And then we've got our inner profiles. We've got a coordinate system around the section and then we have our coordinate entry. We also have our section name and our section class. Now we're ready to create the drawing. So I'm just going to save the drawing and then when we create the user sections we've got two options. One is to create generate the selected section or if we want to generate lots of sections at once you can do all sections. In this instance there's only a single section so I'm going to generate all sections. It will quickly calculate the drawing And there we have it that it tells me that the section is now created to test the section I'm going to jump straight into an advanced steel drawing I'm going to go to my home tab I'm just going to quickly update defaults to make sure that the library rebuilds I'm going to draw a user section so select your section drop down user section I'm going to draw it from the origin of the drawing to here and when you create the user section in advance what you need to do is then select the library entry where that class and section name has been created. So there's the standard beam. I'm going to go to other profiles, select my drop down, go to all. You'll see the Exitec catalog is now created. And there I have my new beam. Because I've added the exact outer section, when I click into my beam and change its display type, if I go to exact, you will see that it changes the beveled outlines. You will see on the internal, I don't have the profiles and that is because they're not defined as the exact inner. So if we go back to our drawing, what we can do is we can create a copy of these objects assign the new layer which is the exact inner so if we say that the exact inner section is there and then simply move these back into position so basically they're sitting on top of each other we then regenerate the section so extended modeling user section let's generate the selected section right click the new section is created go back to our test drawing Delete my section, update defaults, draw a new section in place. And there we have it. If we change its display type to exact, you will see now we have the inner section. It really is as simple as that. Follow the simple steps, the simple processes, and you too can create your own user sections within Autodesk Advanced Steel.